Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to hear about my homeschool curriculum. I'm always curious about what other people use for their homeschool curriculum because I felt kind of lost in the whole homeschool idea in the very beginning and it was really uh, difficult for me because I didn't know a lot of people that homeschooled. I just knew that I needed to homeschool. I knew that that was a good decision for my family. So um, I'm always curious about what people have used over the years or what they liked or what they didn't like. So that's why I wanted to tell you guys uh, what I'm using this year. If you guys don't know, I always worked um, in the medical field. I was an optician and an ophthalmic assistant for like 15 years. And when my son got big enough, I decided to not work and to homeschool him, which um, has been such a blessing to our family. And it's just, it's a really good decision for us. But it was a really tough decision to make, so. I, I do remember that it was a really hard decision to make because it's just, it's hard to know what to do and society tells you one thing. And I didn't know a lot of people that were homeschooling in my area at the time because we um, had just moved. And so it was, it was a really big leap actually for me, a big leap of faith and it has always worked out. So my son actually went to school um, when he was four years old, he went to a pre-K, but it was like a regular private school. Um, and so he had kind of that school experience and, but it, and it was almost like kindergarten, like what he was learning. Cause they were learning how to write and do all that kind of stuff. And he was four. So then actually in kindergarten, I homeschooled him because we had just moved and I didn't want to go back to work. I was tired of being away from him. I didn't like that. And he uh, didn't like it either. He always complained. He was like, the kids don't listen. I don't understand. Um, the teacher said stand in line and the kids just like are jumping around and doing all this stuff and he did not get it. And he had, he kind of had a little bit of a hard time with that. So I think all around, it was a really good decision for us. I actually did send him to school when he was in first grade, just for some like life circumstances. There was some aid and relief work that I really felt called to do. And I had to go to work in order to be able to fund all that. So he did go to school in first grade. And what I noticed when he went to school was that he really wasn't learning a lot of new stuff. It was stuff that he already knew. And I didn't notice him actually getting better in a lot of skills. They just kind of stayed the same. So it was a really easy decision to go back to homeschool in second, third grade, and now we're in fourth. As of now, this is our best decision for our family. So this year, I kind of pieced together this curriculum. And without further ado, I'll show you guys actually what I'm doing. So I'll preface this with saying I really like the YouTube channel Andrea Mills. She has a large family. I think they have nine children now and I just love their vlogs. They are a homeschooling family as well and they use ACE which is Accelerated Christian something. And that particular curriculum is more of an independent learning curriculum so you don't have a parent or a teacher like over you it's really teaching you kind of more independent learning and I was very intrigued by that because I feel like with YouTube and lots of other I feel like kind of like my hand is in lots of things right now and but I still wanted to homeschool my child so Plus, when you get into college and things like that, a lot of times you're like independently teaching yourself things. And there's not a teacher there to tell you all the time. So I didn't think it would be bad, so I looked into it, and I'm kind of using just a small amount of it to see if my child likes it, because that is just not what we're used to. And I didn't want to commit to all seven subjects or anything like that. So I thought this would be a good way to kind of ease that in. So I got the Bible curriculum and this is the fourth grade Bible curriculum. And basically it's reading the Bible and doing like an activity. On the other side, kind of more of like a comprehension that they do have kind of 
have this other fun stuff. And so it looks like the fourth grade is all about reading the Bible. And so they're taking, um, when I was first looking through it, they're taking um, like whole big sections and mark and things like that. So he's going through and reading, which I think is amazing because we do Bible studies, we do so many things. The best thing I think is like just to read the word and to know what's there. And that's really where you can find your truth and find your belief because if you know the word, it's like such a good foundation. So I thought this would be great and um, I got the score keys with it and the, the whole Bible curriculum for the whole year with score keys I think was 30 or $40. Like it wasn't very much at all. It's basically like booklet style and they go through so many pages a day. But I thought that was great. We are still going to do, um, I usually do like quiet time with my child. So then he learns how to do quiet time. And um, so we'll go over and we'll read like small things. Um, we were going through the book of John and we were reading like a paragraph because there was so much in that paragraph. And then sometimes we would read more, but we would never even do a whole chapter. And we would just kind of go at our own pace and we would have some prayer um, I would do some journaling and then he I was trying to get him to do some like creative writing a journal and he is very logical and he was having such a hard time with it so I said well why don't you just draw a picture about like what you learned and what what you think about it and things like that and he said okay and so that has been going really well for us so he's been keeping a journal where he draws pictures and then um, I'll make him kind of write sentences out and things like that. Um, that is um, what we're going to do for Bible curriculum. We're still going to do our quiet time and I'm going to have him do this curriculum and this will be really good because he can do it independently and I think that's going to foster that really well. I actually had him take the math assessment and it was the assessment for ACE um, to figure out what level your child is on was like a long process. They do very in-depth. I was, I was very glad for that. We moved at the end of the school year. So you can tell um, when he was doing his assessment that about the last month and a half of what he would learn in third grade math like was not retained at all, which is really surprising because of his memory. So it was... I know it was just because like we were moving and we were just trying to get through. So I had him take the assessment. They said that he needed basically four books, um, four book lessons, and then he could go on to the fourth grade math. And I thought that it would be better to have him just review that stuff. And when I had him look at it and when I looked through it, a lot of it is review. But even if we get through this in like a month, that's okay. Because, so I got these four and they told me the numbers to get. And then after he finishes this, I will just go ahead and order the regular math curriculum um, through AC. Or the one I actually looked into was called Beast Academy. And I'll try to find a picture of that here. I love this curriculum. I'm super excited about it but I didn't want to buy pieces of it. I felt like it was hard to buy pieces of it and I wasn't sure and it didn't give you good previews. I felt like at least he would get repetition with this and he would get um, what he needed out of it because you can see a lot of this was like set, like subtraction, borrowing, um, but I figured at least he would get the what he needed to get out of it. So um, I'm gonna see if he likes this. And if he likes this curriculum, I will just go ahead and order the fourth grade curriculum when he's done with it, of the math. Um, if not, I will order the Beast Academy. And the Beast Academy and Singapore math were supposed to be two of the hardest ones. I told my son about the Beast Mode one and it's really kind of like cartoony and stuff like that so I thought he would like it but I 
didn't really know how to buy pieces of it so that's why I went ahead and bought the ACE um, filler ones and then about a month in I'll decide whether to buy him uh, ACE for the month for the year in math which really isn't that much anyway maybe $40 at the most or I will go ahead and buy the Beast Academy that comes to $109 for the whole year so I didn't think that was awful by any means so for everything else I am using the good and the beautiful um, none of these products are sponsored they're just what I'm using because I've never pieced together a curriculum and I just thought it'd be good to explain to you guys all the research I did because I did hours and hours of research I loved um, the idea of sunlight and really liked that but when I looked at their history program it was like $500 and I was like oh okay um, and if I thought it was so good I would have found the money for that no big deal um, but I had heard about this the good and the beautiful and I want to say I first heard about it on um, large family table uh, J. Merle Stewart's channel and I think I saw her review it and I just kind of clicked on the link and started checking it out and I really like it I'm super excited about it so let me go through and I'll show you guys the rest of the subjects I got and the rest of this is all from the good and the beautiful and the rest of everything so this is language arts spelling um, art science typing handwriting I'll go through and t I'll put something up on the on the screen I can't remember how many of it is that it is and I got some extra books and I think my total was like 280 283 maybe um, it was not that much and it is good quality I've been looking through it and I'm so excited we are starting on Wednesday so we are not starting school we have not started school yet because my husband was um, traveling for work and he just happened to be here for a week we went on a little bit of like an end of the summer vacation I'll pop a card here of um, that little vacation but I just thought you know what I had the freedom to start a little bit later and I'm going to start a little bit later and didn't we all start school um, after Labor Day back in the day didn't everybody do that so we're gonna start Wednesday after Labor Day so I will show you guys the science that I got. I got two different sciences and I'm hoping to do three or four because they're so affordable but um, the first science I got that we're starting is called, I'm sorry, called the human body and this I was opening it because I had to look at it but let me show you guys. It has beautiful pictures. You create like a science board in your school room and you put these things on there they give you suggested reading and um, different things like that let me show you guys so and they give you like this is lesson one they give you an objective um, tell you everything you need your supplies um, they give you optional reading and you'll go through and start um, doing the activities it gives you a big layout of how to do everything and it has these cute um, at the end of a lot of these it's something like this and so like this one is all about them what I thought is cool is I only have one child but from what I understand this curriculum especially their science curriculum works for um, if you are homeschooling various children of various ages and you can get like the K through 6 one and they tell you what to do um, with the higher grades and stuff like that. The other science I got was um, it was a space science and so I'm hoping that these two will get us through um, till about the first of the year 
and I'm really excited about this one. Um, my son loves space. We did just go to um, a planetarium, and I love a planetarium, let me tell you. Uh, this one, a suggested reading was this book that you could buy from them. The thing that really got me on this Good and the Beautiful was that they had downloadable versions of basically language arts for free. So I said, hey, let me check this out. What do you mean downloadable versions for free? Um, the downloadable version didn't really work that well for me. That wasn't something I wanted to deal with, but I could see if you had more than one child how it would be so beneficial because um, you would have to keep buying curriculum and you could just print it out and I could see how that would be an easier, um, cheaper route. So. The other thing that I thought was great about The Good and the Beautiful is their language arts program. This is part one of the level four, which is fourth grade. And they, I had him do their assessment to make sure he was on the fourth grade level. I was course book came with it and this is really nice, bound well. I super excited about it. The thing I did like about The Good and the Beautiful is that it encompasses literature, grammar and uses, Literature, grammar and usage, punctuation, art, geography, spelling, vocabulary, and writing. All in one. So I don't need a separate geography. I don't need a separate art. I don't need, um, you know, spelling separate. Because I know sometimes they do spelling separate. So as far as what you're supposed to do every day in this language arts, this is why I really, really liked it. Because your daily checklist is that you're supposed to do one lesson out of here. Um do your grammar and um, geography cards and your creative companion and you're supposed to read. So it encompassed so much that I was excited about. Let me show you the cre let me show you the creative companion. It's really beautiful. You're supposed to do one lesson a day, but let me show you guys these pictures. Look at they're talking about art and different things and geographies and, you know, they're showing them paintings by Van Gogh, paintings. These are like paintings in the Netherlands because that have to do with geography and all of that and looking at pictures like this. I mean, it's just so wonderful. I was just blown away by how pretty it was. and how well put together it was, and I am really looking forward to that. So it didn't seem so daunting, and it wasn't a bunch of worksheets. Like, it wasn't like, here, do five worksheets, and you're done with language arts for the day. It was really like, to keep their attention. The other thing they do every day is, I already put these together, but these are geography cards and grammar cards. And when I read it, it said to do about 10 at a time. And then once they have mastered it, to put it kind of in a master folder pile type of thing. And then um, go back and review it every week. So this is basically like, what ocean is this? And on the back it would say Atlantic Ocean. Um, these are our grammar flashcards. Um, you'll see this one just says like, what is a noun? and it has the answer on the back, and then they just get harder and harder. There's not as many of them, which is exciting, but um, it goes on to, what are three ways to fix a run-on sentence? You know, so it gets harder as um, it goes. These were really, uh, the cards, I was actually very impressed with um, the quality of paper. It's like a cardstock paper. Um, I don't even feel like I would need to laminate these. Maybe if I had a lot of children going through the same cards um, and using the, the one set, I probably would. But this was very durable and the paper is kind of that satiny. So it just, you know, a lot of stickiness probably isn't going to stick to them right away at least. And um, I really liked them. These two books came with the um, curriculum, and I 
think they are going to be really good stories. There's something different. They just opened um, a library on their site, so I purchased these two books off of there. They were the same price as, actually they were about a dollar cheaper there than on Amazon, and these were his grade level. Um, and I will probably be purchasing, they had a lot of really uh, cool ones that were like about Lincoln, about a lot of history ones that were above his grade level. So I just thought I'd start with these two first. So the rest of what I got from The Good and the Beautiful was kind of some filler stuff that was just personal preference to me. It was stuff that I thought about and I decided that I wanted him to work on this year. And so one of them was like a typing program. And this was just typing one. It's very similar to a lot of computer programs um, that you would do, and it just gives you exercises to do, um, tells you, you know, how to type and how to hold your keyboards and all, you know, how to hold your hands and your keyboards and all. I also added on a handwriting curriculum, and they had different levels of this. Um, this is level five, and I think there's six levels. But um, my son had learned cursive. He had always been learning cursive. And um, so this had some cursive in it. And I really wanted him to know how to print and how to you know, do cursive. And this was kind of a mixture of both, but it gets a lot of that cursive writing that um, he wouldn't normally do if he was just going to write something out. This gives him a lot of that practice. And I was excited about that. Um, there's obviously, you know, copy this sentence, do this, do that, um, you know, write these things, and, you know, copy these things, or, um, and I thought that was really good, and I think this level will be just fine for him. Um, I added on a creative writing, and this was about the same price somewhere in the, the vicinity of like 12 or 13 dollars um, already bound it gives you these prompts and this one did not really have a lot of instructions per what I saw was basically the child can kind of skip around and do whatever they want um, as long as they're kind of like doing a page a day what I really liked was it's giving a lot of description it's trying to get them to prompt to well you know if your character is this or your plot is this or your setting is this it wants you to go into more detail um, the other thing that I got him that I'm super excited about was a nature notebook this was $10.99 and I was super on the fence about it I was like I don't know once it got here though I was so excited because it starts off in all the different seasons so you can see this is like fall draw the items you see so we can like this is gonna help us like get outside and do some stuff and I know that like you could really make this on your own you could go on a nature walk on your own and pick up leaves and you know paste them and do all that kind of stuff on your own I just needed a little more prompting because I'm not an outdoor girl so it starts off like this which I thought was great and I just you know felt like since it's going through all the different seasons I thought some of the stuff was just really cool that I wouldn't have thought of on my own so using your senses what do you feel you know what do you smell what do you you know what do you hear I thought that kind of stuff would be great and that will give us a reason to okay let's go outside let's get out of you know the chairs let's walk around let's and him and I know he'll take that as like, okay, we're gonna almost have like a break. But for $10.99, I thought it was really well done, well put together. Um, I feel like he's gonna love it. The last thing I wanna show you is I was looking for a really good history program. I um, just thought through classical conversations last year, like even though you were memorizing these facts, um, I just wanted more history for him because I feel like if you understand the past, it's easier to understand your future. And I looked and kind of scoured and did lots of research. I mentioned that I really liked Sunlight's curriculum because they used a lot of um, 
books and literature along with it, which is exactly what I was looking for. But the $500 price tag for my one child was like, really? That's like half my budget for the whole year. So that wasn't going to work for me. Um, and so I decided to go with the history from the good and the beautiful. And this is the history pack. Look how thick this is. So this is the um, course book, it includes maps and images. And this is the big book of stories. So it'll tell you when to, or actually, this is the course book. See how thick that is? And then it'll tell you when to read these stories. So you get these beautiful color pictures. It's telling you stories um, from different eras, you know. And I just thought this was great. So you're getting stories along with it. Plus they give you like um, a suggested reading um, story and they're, they're basically encouraging you that during, um, they're saying, I wanna say this takes about 60 minutes. Um, and this curriculum can be done with any of the children, any ages, I wanna say K through six. And um, they give you like a suggested um, read alouds basically. It also comes with like audio recordings, like dramatizations that you log in and listen to. It comes with a history board game. So then you can play that as well, which looked really fun. I was looking for something that was kind of like encompassing all these things, encompassing literature, encompassing different things. And even um, when you start off on your first lesson, it was telling you um, that you want to start doing your read aloud and it's a um, about ancient Egypt because they're saying, you know, it's going to start really quick. You know, start doing your read aloud on that. So you're doing the lesson and then you're reading aloud with your children every day as well. The more you read aloud with your children, you can never read aloud enough, I don't think. So um, I was super excited about that. And this just seemed to encompass everything that I was really looking for in a curriculum this year. That is what we are doing this year. It is kind of this hodgepodge that I put together. Um, but I think it's gonna work really well for us. And I feel like that's the key to homeschool. Whatever works really well for you and your family. I am super excited to start this new curriculum. I've never done anything where I have had you know, different pieces of the puzzle, but I think it's gonna be great for us. Um, the only thing I'm a little bit concerned the only other thing I'm going to add is one morning a week, I'm going to do the, since I have the classical conversations guide, I'm going to do the foundation memory work with him. And I'm going to do cycle one since we did cycle three. So I am going to kind of keep reiterating all that because he only did cycle three of the classical conversations so um, I at least want him to get a little bit more of that memorization down and I think it's good it's something he enjoys so we're gonna do that one morning a week and probably Thursday morning is what I'm thinking and we'll learn all that but um, and this is gonna be our curriculum for the rest of it um, I'm super excited. I can't wait to start. I'm gonna start on Wednesday this week and it's just exciting. If you guys have used the good and the beautiful or used any of this curriculum that I've been talking about, please let me know and let me know your thoughts on it because I would love to hear what y'all think. I'm super excited about this good and the beautiful because it's such a good price point and uh, I just can't, I cannot wait to start it and see how well it goes. If you got to the end of this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know that I am a little bit of a talker and I know I have to cut this down quite a bit, but, but I just wanted to share my journey with you guys. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Thank you again for coming over and hanging out. Bye for now.